Where'd you go, 30? Did you buy some stuff from Marge's My estate? Lady did, yes. No kidding. Oh, how cool is that? The Ghostbusters? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I'm not too early, am I? Thanks for letting me look. I'm gonna start a pile of stuff up here. Okay. I don't need a box or anything. I've got box. Okay, great. Oh yeah? Yeah, and I always wore my socks. It's a neat fan. Yeah. 35, that's cool with you. Would you go 30? Yep. All right, I'll do it. I'll add it to my pile. Any reasonable offer. <laughs> Gotta go, right? Yeah. All right, I owe you 45. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. I'll be here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Good luck with your sale. Oh, thank you for stopping by. Morning. That's supposed to be Johnny Bench? It is, it's a watercolor. Gotcha, it look, kinda looks like Pete. <laughs> I was like, it looks like Pete, but that's number five. Do you have any cameras you're selling or just a bag? How much are your headphones? This is name your own price. Oh, name your own price. About 10 for the pair. That's perfect. All right. All oh, that mantle piece is neat. Yeah. Guessing the bench jersey is not a name your own price. Those two are not named. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. That's nice though. What are you asking for that? I um, mean, he's 50. 50? Yeah. That's a fair price. Yeah, it is a good price. How much on the sweater? 20. 10. It's never been worn. I'll do 10 on it. Okay. Did you buy some stuff from. Marge's estate? Lady did, yes. No kidding. Wow, that's interesting. Wow, 2006? Holy cow. Did he take notes of what everything sold for? That's amazing. How cool is that? Geez, what was the total, I wonder? <laughs> I wonder if he added it up. I'm seeing a lot of hundreds. Is that where a lot of this stuff came from? No, but we're two, di uh, two different red stuff. Gotcha. Yeah, he, my husband's a big collector. Mostly Johnny Bench, though. And when my husband died, a lot of the stuff went to family, so. Yeah. Would you take three for your shoes? Sure. All right, I'll do that too. Okay. I owe you 23? That is correct. All right. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Appreciate it.
those are not for sale. No, no, I'm, no, I was just looking at. Oh yeah, uh, my husband built them. Oh, they're priced individually by the bag. Sell them all at one Oh gosh. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I would, but I don't know how much. <laughs> you go would you do ten on that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Did she laugh or did she laugh? Okay. Is he buying all these? What's that? Is he buying all these? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I thought I had heard him. Are you buying them? You want them, sir? Depends. Want, uh, how much, how much I said 50 on? for all of them. I'll do 40 on them. Mm -mm. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. Is that lower than what you have? No. Yeah. Um, it's on eBay. Yeah. Yeah, I did 50 on all Okay. You got a bag. You got a bag for him? I do. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. Morning. How much are your waters? Uh, one dollar. All right, I'll take one. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. How much is your laundry hamper? Um, it is, uh, yeah, we use it for a clothes hamper. So it's from Pottery Barn. It's what are you asking for it? Five bucks. Sold. Because this came off, but we uh -huh. just tied it back on. Yeah. I mean, you could zip tie it back on. Deal. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, you are welcome. Good Thank luck you. with the sale. Thank you. How much are these? Oh, I didn't put prices anything because I ran out of time. So oh, it's no problem. So this is brand new, um, five dollars, and then three dollars. So great. So I can't. I mean, I've never opened that box. Yeah. So I. I'm gonna donate to the popsicle fund too. <laughs> so there's a dollar for a popsicle fund. It's only a quarter. Oh so well, you want they your can have a tip. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks. Oh, thanks so much. We have twenty dollars worth here. All right, okay. That's Seventeen year DVDs and then a three dollar game. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You got the bag ready to go and everything. I do. Just <laughs> in case. There you go. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Thanks. Morning. When's the last time you had the Xbox up and running? Uh, probably a year ago. A year ago. That one's got the, uh, the the bigger hard drive, the storage in it. Oh, does it? Or a Switch style, yes. Gotcha. Would you go 40 for everything? Sure. All right, I'll do that. You want your tote back? Uh, no, you can have it. Okay. Make it easy to carry. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Morning. How are you today? Fine, how are you? Good. I'll take your bobbleheads.
There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Good Thanks. luck with the sale. Thank you. Thanks. Would you like a little bag? If you've got one, that'd yeah. be great. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good You're day. You're welcome. You too. Oh, how cool is that? The Ghostbusters? It's OG one. Is it really? Yeah. Yep. Softly beat up from when I was a kid. Oh, that is too neat. Yeah. I'll buy that. I wish I took better care of some of that stuff. Cause... <laughs> I'll just I'll just go ahead and buy all this stuff here. Um, I owe you 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 28. 28. Cool. Thank you. No problem, thank you. How much are these? Let me ask my mom. She's the seller. Mom, how much do you want for the costumes, the wuzzles? Boo, we love what those. What did you say? Both of them for five, I think. Sold. A very nice. Do you need a bag at all? Oh no, I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, all these are like little outfits. There you go. Good luck for awesome. sale. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good day. Mom. You too. Back in the house, I had an excellent day at the garage sales. Let's see. I got. Uh, these ASIC shoes for $3 and they're very, very clean. I do really well with men's ASIC shoes. I should get about 30 to 40 for those. Just a note, it seems like the men's ASICs have a much higher sell through rate than the women's. So uh, the men's always seem to do a lot better for me. I got these uh, two sets of Sony headphones um, with the uh, transmitters and I paid, I think I paid 10 for the pair. I should easily get 25 to 30 for each one. At one sale, they had a bunch of vintage toys. Let's see, I got this Ecto-1. I think this was, I don't know, five, 10 bucks, something like that. And you can see the figures in there. I don't know that it's complete. I think it's missing a few pieces, but maybe some more of it's in there. As it is, I think I should easily get 30 to 40. Also had some uh, G.I. Joes at that sale, a whole bag of those for five. Bag of uh, 90s Ninja Turtles for five. Let's see, a little G.I. Joe and some accessories for a dollar. Keep an eye out for these accessories. These little attachments and weapons and everything, a lot of times can go for more than the figures do just because they're so small and they got lost. But I got that whole bag for a dollar and then I paid two for this little, uh, you know, vintage transformer. I think it's a knockoff. I don't know, I'll have to check it out. We got four Walking Dead Wacky Wobblers, bobbleheads, um, $8 for all four. I saw this one on for 30 by itself. I think I should easily get 40 to 50 for the four. This was definitely the best find of the day. This is the 80s uh, Ghostbusters Firehouse toy. It looks to be complete. It's got the doors. It's got this thing that goes missing a lot. Um, but this goes somewhere. I'm not sure where. Uh, but yeah, if this thing is complete, it's around $150 to $200. Got a bunch of movies for a dollar each in this um, Xbox Batman 3 game sealed in the plastic for three. I just took a chance on this thinking it would be worth something because it was sealed, but really it's not worth that much. This right here though, Mater's Tune Tall Tales, because it's sealed and has a sleeve, I think I can get 24 and the rest of those uh, I'm just going to keep for the kids to watch. This is an interesting piece. This is a vintage Miami, Ohio University Redskins, I guess cardigan, sweater. Miami University is now the Red Hawks, but they used to be the Redskins and that stuff uh, brings some pretty good money just because there's not that much of it out there. I sold a vintage Miami, Ohio University trash can like two or three years ago for like $250 and it sold quick because it had the old logo. I got these Wuzzles costumes. I paid five for the pair. These are very, very rare, but whether or not they're worth a whole lot, I'm not sure. There was only like one or two listed and they were asking $100, but I didn't see any uh, sales. So I'll probably just undercut them and see what I can get for them. I got $250 each into them, so I'll gladly uh, take less than $100. Bucks. 
I got a uh, Phillips breast pump at one sale. New in the box. It doesn't have the picture or anything, but the uh, model number's on there. I paid five for that and three for the manual one. This one I should get 80 to 100 for. Uh, I still need to look up the comps on this. I'm thinking closer to 25 to 30. Got a guitar at one sale. Typically when I see these um, classical guitars, they're just kind of like, you know, cheapies, vintage, kind of beat up. This is a Takamini offshoot. Um, brand new. This thing was probably 100, 150 bucks. I got it for $10. I think I can flip it locally for 30 or 40. This is the uh, Boba Fett vehicle that was also in that toy lot i paid five for that i should get about 25 to 30 although i see a crack here so that's not ideal this is a cool find uh this is a pottery barn uh rattan or wicker elephant um laundry hamper i paid five for that i'm just gonna sell it local try to get 25 or 30 they do go for around 100 dollars new this xbox lot is pretty interesting so this is um the infinity game with some figures that's not really worth much um variety of games over here i didn't see any games that jumped out at me at the time um that were really worth a whole lot individually so it's probably just going to be one big lot uh, but i am going to be selling some of the controllers separately so there's four controller controllers that's really what sealed the deal for me because these will bring 15 to 20 dollars each and also what sealed the deal is he said this system has the um expanded memory now, I didn't know this until a few years ago, but the way you can easily check this is there's a little notch right here. You just lift it up, and if it's the expanded memory, it's going to be right there. So you can see it, 320 gigs. So the console, because it's the 320 gigs, I think with the Kinect, probably one controller, all the games, I think I can easily get $100 for, maybe a little bit more. And then I'll sell the um, other three controllers for $15 to $20 a pop. Paid $40 for all that. This was a really cool find. This is a vintage, new in the plastic, NBA ceiling fan. And what's neat is that there's different stickers um, for each team. So you can put whatever team you want on there. So if you want to make it a Bulls fan, it's a Bulls ceiling fan. If you want to make it uh, Supersonics, you know, Seattle, you can do that too. So the, I paid 30 for that and the same one sold for 150. There's a handful of them listed, but they're more like 200 and up. So yeah, if I can get closer to 200 for it, that'd be great. Got a couple of these like animatronic Santas for $5 each. These tend to do okay. 20 to 30 bucks. I'll just probably have to wait till it's closer to Christmas to sell them. And then I got this um, Chef Man uh, hand blender for five. It's going for about 30. I went to one sale where I bought the guitar and I overheard a uh, negotiation happening. The guy was like wanting to buy all of something and asking if they take less. And she was like, well, let me add it all up and see how much, you know, the total, my total asking price is and we'll figure something out. And when I went over to the table, it seemed like it was the uh, Disney collectible pins. And she had them bagged up like $5 a bag, I think $3 a bag on some of them. The guy walked away and I was like, is he going to be buying those? And she's like, I don't know. I don't know that he didn't make an offer or what. So they kind of went back and forth on like 40 and 50 and he finally bought them at 50. I definitely would have bought them at 50. I didn't get that close of a look at them, but there's probably money to be made. Some of those collectible pens can go for good money. And I've just sold like some, you know, bundle lots of those and done really well. But I didn't want to step on his toes during the negotiation. I've been on the other end of that where I'm actively trying to buy something and negotiating. Somebody else comes in as trying to buy it and it's just... It's rude, it's a mess, so I was really trying to uh, tread carefully with that one. That is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.